Feather stars are colorful filter feeders in the class Crinoidea. This class consists of over 600 known species, often referred to as crinoids. The class also includes sea lilies. Unlike feather stars, sea lilies spend their whole life attached to the seafloor by a stalk. Feather stars resemble sea lilies when they are young, but they eventually break free to become free-swimming adults. They swim gracefully by bending and straightening their arms. A feather star's body consists of a central disc with five symmetrical arms. The five arms are usually branched many times, making it possible for some species to have as many as 200 arms. A feather star will raise its arms to filter food from the water. They can still anchor themselves to rocks and other substrates by using tiny feet called cirri. They will often perch themselves on top of sea fans and coral heads in order to expose their arms to food-bearing currents. Their arms are covered in tiny, mucus-secreting tube feet that trap plankton drifting with the current. The trap food is then coated in mucus and passed into their mouth located centrally on top of their body. Populations of feather stars are widespread throughout the world. They are commonly found on tropical coral reefs, especially in the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific Ocean. Most feed at night and spend the day partly or completely hidden. Many fish prey on them, but the fish will often just pick off part of their body instead of eating them whole. Feather stars can slowly regenerate their limbs and grow back to full form as long as their central disc is still intact. Their limbs act as a shelter for many symbiotic organisms like shrimp. Feather stars are separated into males and females. After a female's eggs are fertilized, they will hatch into free-swimming larvae. Larvae develop into stock juveniles that stay attached to the seafloor until they are ready to break away and become free-swimming adults. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.